I want to dive into the plan that Joe Biden has released to address the problems we're experiencing with our southern border. And as we've talked about, the problem is not what many within the Republican Party uh, kind of make it out to be in that it's this crazy, you know, invasion and making the human beings who are a part of the situation out to be dangerous and bad in some way. That's not accurate. What is accurate is we're having logistical problems with our southern border. We're not able to handle right now uh, the amount of migrants, for example, that are landing in El Paso, and that's causing a humanitarian problem as well. And so it does need to be addressed, but in a humane way, a human-focused way that actually has real solutions put forward. And it seems the Biden administration is trying to do that, uh, do that. So we'll look at, from the White House, a fact sheet they released kind of breaking down what their um, recent announcements lay out for solutions in regard to the southern border. Um, kind of a little bit of an intro there. And then it says, impose new consequences for individuals who attempt to enter unlawfully by increasing the use of expedited uh, removal, announcing new measures to encourage individuals to seek orderly and lawful pathways to migration, expand legal pathways for safe, orderly, and humane migration, expanding the parole process for Venezuelans to Nicaraguans, Haitians, and Cubans, tripling refugee resettlement from the Western Hemisphere, launching online appointment portal to reduce overcrowding and wait times at U.S. ports of entry, new legal pathways to other countries across the region, increasing humanitarian assistance in Mexico and Central America. Uh, and we'll continue a second here, but very important that the legal immigration process is focused on. We talk so often about that because if you had in the United States, if we had a better legal immigration system that was enhanced, properly invested in, uh, proper resource allocation, then it would be uh, reasonable to expect that migrants will take the legal route if they know that their best interest will be in mind and logistically they'll be able to get through our legal process and hopefully that would limit undocumented immigration. So I wanna remind you one more time and then we'll continue with this fact sheet to kind of get a sense of what Biden is putting forward. I wanna remind you that undocumented immigration is something that we should not have going on for multiple reasons. But the way that Republicans uh, uh, fear monger about it is dangerous. They make the human beings looking for a better life uh, in this situation out to be dangerous. Um, you know, I don't even want to use some of the wording that they use because it is so dehumanizing. But for even just the sake of the individuals who are immigrating to the United States. We want them to be able to do that through a legal process so they can be accounted for, provide the proper resources and help on their way, um, of course. And so if we have a better legal system, if we had a better legal immigration system, then that could be the reality. And of course, in addition, you want to prevent um, unorganized, undocumented immigration while that improvement process is going on. Here, continuing, surge resources to secure the border, disrupt criminal smuggling networks, and support border communities, mobilizing record resources for safe, orderly, and humane processing of migrants, taking thousands of smugglers off the streets, encountering smuggler misinformation, expanding coordination with and support for border cities, receiving, community, uh, receiving communities and non-governmental organizations. And that's how this fact sheet concludes. And so the specifics are partially laid out there, but that's kind of the outline of what his actions are going to be attempting to um, do. And I think there's things on there, you know, you can have different opinions about different particular goals uh, within that fact sheet. But what that absolutely debunks is the idea that Biden is not wanting to address the logistical problems we're having with the border, the humanitarian problems we're having with the border. And as we've talked about in the past, it was actually the Biden administration that pushed for increased funding to certain programs for border security, for uh, enhancing our legal immigration process, and on and on. Republicans did not want to go along with that. Again, I say because it is beneficial to fearmonger about the border, not actually solve the problem.